All right, here it is. Looks like it's done. And uh, we'll take a look here on the inside. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I think it's done. So, <clears throat> I don't know why I'm sniffling. But I am. I'm going to take it out. And, uh, Cool it. This thing is kind of rough to get out. I'd be a lot easier if I take the cover off. Nope, I guess it won't be a lot easier to take the cover off. All right, there you go. Wow. I even lubricated it. Okay. So there you go. Still hot. So that's what it looks like on the inside. I think that's the color supposed to be weak, but it looks like the sides are cooked very well. Now it's a matter of getting it uh, out. We'll set it over here. Just the camera. Here we go. It's still very hot. I just had my side touched a little bit with my hand, and whew. All right, so um, there is a, a secret way of getting the bread out, um, and that's to do this. You get a spatula like this, a little rubber is flexible, and you just uh, press on the sides like that to loosen things up a little bit. It helps a great deal. What we have to do is we have to turn it upside down uh, to get it out. So, we'll just continue to go all the way around. I think that should be good. Feels like it's fairly loose. Okay, let's set that aside. Alright, so, when it's hot, uh, it's a little tricky. You don't want to get burnt. So what I do is I hold the bottom here with this here and also hold on to this, turn it upside down and hold on to this thing doesn't cut into the bread and just raise it up. There it is. However, it doesn't look very appetizing. That kind of hot, but you can see the hole where the paddle was at. Didn't mess anything up. I'm going to turn it upside down. Oh, hot. There you go. That's a nice looking piece of bread. Uh, you can brown it more, setting a higher setting, but I don't like it to be too crusty. So to me, this looks pretty good. The question is. How does it taste? Um, so we're going to find out here. We're going to slice a piece and we're going to find out <clears throat> how it tastes. Now I got this ingredients online and I, I'm hoping that it, uh, it works out good. So what I'll do, I will adjust my camera here a little bit, the tripod. Excuse my flexibility here for a little bit. There you go. All right, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut it in half. Wow, you hear it crunching? Wow, there you go. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, so nice and soft, very hot. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to cut myself a piece, and uh, I'm going to try to do it without busting it up. Too much. There you go. Oh, it's hot. It's steam coming out and everything. And we had just finished. Usually we let it sit and cool for a little bit. There we go. 
Wow, look at that. Wow. All right, now I'm going to cut a piece off in the center. And I'm going to put some butter on it. Let it melt a little bit in there. Is that hot that it will? Okay. Now, I'm going to reset my camera here. Tripod. Okay, we're going to try it. If I smile, then I'm happy with it. If I frown, then something went wrong. So, here we go. The butter gives a nice flavor. And it's good. It's really good. I like it. I think it's a hit. Now, I'm going to try a piece right the butter. I want to see what I can do to make it taste better. Adding more ingredients, more sugar maybe, or less salt. And I like to have my bread sweet. It's supposed to be French bread. And you know what? It tastes like French bread. It's really good. No better. That is very good. I'm very pleased. Very pleased. Next time I'll have some sesame on top of that or some kind of um, jelly. You can do anything you want. Well, Folks, I'm going to call this a success. I hope you enjoyed it. Watching my channel, Bread Makers Delight. Check it out. There's other older movies on it, but you might enjoy them. And uh, I'll keep making these videos, these, these movies, and uh, I'll be making something made out of gluten free. Uh, that means uh, no gluten in the wheat. So that should be interesting. Well, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, goodbye.